Dengue fever is a debilitating disease uh, that you can only get from the bite of an infected mosquito. There are around 100 million cases a year globally of dengue and, and it's on the increase. Uh, importantly, there's no vaccine for dengue. So we focus a lot of our efforts against the mosquito that carries dengue. The technical name is Aedes aegypti. It's interesting to note that it breeds only around people's houses. So we have to use other control methods against this mosquito. This involves mostly boots on the ground. So it's teams of officers who go do house to house inspections. They'll inspect for mosquito breeding, standing water, the buckets and drums are, are the, the usual culprits. But of course any other tool that we can use against this mosquito is, uh, would be very useful. MRCU are working on a, a collaboration with a British based company looking into ways to control the dengue mosquito. The basis of this project works on putting out a large number of sterile male mosquitoes that can compete with the wild males and mate with the, the wild females. The, the good thing with this project is that by putting out sterile males, if they mate with the females, then the females' offspring are non-viable. So there's, there's no, no babies, as it were, no next generation. And we're hoping that if we can do this in large enough numbers and at great enough scale, that then we can actually suppress the population and reduce the population of this mosquito in the area that we're working. We're really lucky that we're actually able to do this project because we're the only ones in the world that are doing it right now, so Cayman really is at the, the cutting edge of science and technology. This technology has gone through years and years of development in the laboratories and in cage trials elsewhere in the world. Um, we've been very fortunate to be chosen to be the department that actually gets out there and gets to do it in the field, so this is, this is a world first for Cayman. Oxitec is really the, the technology provider here so that we develop some strains and a technology for uh, controlling the dengue mosquito and MRCU and Cayman government are, are evaluating that technology for potential use in, in Cayman. Now of course from our perspective as Oxitec uh, there are many countries with dengue and so of course we are interested in using it in those uh, in other countries that, that suffer from dengue, many of which are in this general region. The steps in the lab are actually pretty basic. We get our mosquito eggs shipped in from the UK, so the company that we're collaborating with have a mosquito factory in Oxford and they send eggs over to us on strips of paper. These are added to water and they hatch out into very small first stage larvae. During the course of about a week we continue to feed them and nurture them in the facility that we have here in Grand Cayman. When they get to pupae we're, allowed, we're able to sort them into males and females with a, a number of special systems that we have. The males are actually smaller than the females so we're able to use quite a simplified sieve type method um, to, to separate them. These are then put into cages into known, in known quantities and then taken out and released into the field a few days later. So we, we nurse them through and build them up, feed them, look after them until they're big enough and strong enough to go out there and compete for the females. Our daily routine, we usually try and get out into the field as quickly as possible because it gets really hot uh, very early on during the day. And uh, so on a release, we, uh, we have set spots where we release uh, three times a week. Uh, we're only releasing male mosquitoes, and males uh, are incapable of biting people. The release points that we have are, are chosen um, from satellite imagery, kind of based on a, we try to uniformly distribute them across the area we're working in, but also allocate them to areas where we know mosquitoes will uh, be likely to, when we release them, they'll be able to rest, they'll be able to do the things that mosquitoes naturally do in the field. So it's really important for the uh, release points to be chosen well in terms of geographically spread but also uh, actually in the field what the surroundings are. The good thing about this technology is it actually uses the males to do the control, it's the mosquito doing the work for us. The best thing you can have is, is one of those guys on your side so the, the male mosquitoes are going out searching for the females in a way that we could never do. The beauty of this technology, of this method, is that male mosquitoes don't bite. In fact, they can't bite. Therefore, there's no risk of disease transmission. One of dengue's main problems is that it can't be cured. There's no cure, there's no vaccine, there's no drugs you can take to avoid it or to get better from it. It really is a, a very nasty disease, so the only control that you can really come by 
is by reducing the, the mosquitoes, is by killing the mosquitoes and making sure they're not there to transmit it in the first place. So I think this kind of technology really has a, a place for reducing dengue and having a, an impact on human health.